Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Greg with the Dapper Man. Today we're going to be smoking the uh, Toro Fuente King Bee. We're going to be welcoming some new subscribers, and we're going to be uh, answering some comments and questions from my previous video. So stay tuned. No new subscribers this week, so I'm going to ask that if you know anybody that would like our channel or like cigar reviews, whiskey reviews, uh, beard products and beard reviews, go ahead and forward them our channel and go ahead and have them subscribe and hit the little bell notification. That way they'll get notified when I post a new video. Do have a couple comments to talk about. First one is Chris G. Uh, these are both from my Flathead uh, 660 video. Uh, Chris G says he liked my flathead review and he suggests that I try the Romacraft Neanderthal. Uh, Chris, thank you for that recommendation. Actually, uh, I'm buying a couple online since I can't get them from my local tobacconist. And uh, I'm going to do a review on those for you here as soon as they come in. The other one, also again on that flathead uh, 660 video, was Make My Day Mag 44, uh, who said he doesn't usually like bigger ring gauge cigars, but he's going to give that one a try. If you never had the Flathead cigars or anything from that line, I definitely highly recommend it. They are always good uh, cigars, uh, premium tobacco, great taste, and uh, just unique shapes with that box press and in, in those sizes, so I do recommend it. If you smoke the Flatheads, uh, go ahead and comment below and tell me what you thought about them. Okay, now it's time to smoke the Arturo Fuente uh, Chateau Fuente King B. Uh, this cigar was named after a uh, it's either a pub or an inn in the Yar uh, Yarburn City or sorry Yarbor City uh, that uh, the Arturo fam uh, family owned for the longest time. This is a six by fifty two. As you can see, it is a torpedo, and it comes with a little cedar wrapper. Uh, this is a Ecuadorian Rosada sun grown wrapper. And the binder and filler are both uh, Dominican and it is a long leaf filler. I should be getting notes of coffee, leather, spice, cedar, and cocoa from this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it uh, with my Zycar Deep V cutter here. If you see my other videos, you know I like the Deep V, especially on a torpedo, because it leaves the cap pretty intact, but it still allows for good air draw. So hopefully you can see that there. Now, if you're familiar with uh, some of my other videos, I talk, uh, you know, I, I smoke here at uh, Rem's place here in Grand Junction. One of our members, we call him the Cigar Santa. He suggested that I try lighting the cigar with the uh, cedar, uh, uh, cedar sleeve here. And the way he suggested it, and I've never done this before, is just slide it off just a little bit and so you get a little bit of the cedar uh, closer to the head of the cigar and then you light the cedar and you uh, draw in and then as you draw in you slowly slide the cedar out allowing uh, allowing the cedar to burn while you still get that uh, get that flavor and get that cedar burn again i've never tried this before I fear I will go ahead and try it now, and if all else fails, I will go ahead and just use my vector lighter. So give me a second here. I have, I've just moved my uh, ashtray here in front of me, so that if I need to, I can just slip the uh, cedar uh, sleeve off, and I can just drop it right in there, and we'll be fine. So, it's a good draw, good test draw. Huh. Getting some fruit on the uh, test draw. Let's see, I'm supposed to be getting coffee, leather, spice, cedar, and cocoa. I can see the leather. I can see the cedar and cocoa. Yeah, but I'm not really getting any of the. Uh, I'm getting more of a fruity flavor than anything else. So we're going to light this up. Again, I just have a quarter of an inch or less. 
kind of see it right there. Slide the wrapper off there. It's not a bad light. Hmm. Interesting. And, uh, sorry, I'm just going to put that out now. Uh, going to blow through it like I do with, with all my other cigars. pretty well actually. A little bit here on the very bottom edge. Actually that seemed to work pretty well so we try to perfect that uh, in the future. So as you know you don't really get a lot of good flavor off the initial light. Right now it's the overwhelming note of cedar, which you would expect by lighting from the cedar sleeve. So I'm gonna smoke into the first third here, and I will come back with a flavor profile update, and I will come back with a construction update, and we'll see how everything goes. So stay tuned for the first third. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually into my first third here now, just a quarter of an inch or so. A burn, a little lot even, but I'm not worried about it. It's pretty even for something at this point. Uh, and that'll correct itself here in just a little bit. I do want to actually talk about a little bit at the, about the cigar again. It's the Autoro Fuente, Chateau Fuente, King B. It's a 6x52 uh, torpedo. Uh, it's the Ecuadorian Rosado Sun Grum wrapper with Dominican and uh, binder and filler. Uh, I couldn't remember if I'd actually said all that before, so I just wanted to make sure that I actually said it now. Now, now that I'm actually into the first third, I am getting uh, a lot of the spice, a lot of the cedar. Uh, you know, that hits you up front and hits you on the retro hail. Mm. But uh, it's mellowing down, so you definitely want to, don't want to smoke the cigar too fast, or all that spice is going to just really heat up and really just punch you in the face. But if you actually slow down and let the cigar rest uh, between puffs a little bit, then you'll start getting some of that uh, cocoa, which is really subtle on the uh, on the finish, and uh, some of that coffee and leather as well. So, key to smoking the cigar at this point, anyway, is just go really, really slow. So, what I'm going to do is actually get it into my second third. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll get into the first third here, see if anything changes, uh, and then. Uh, I'll come back with a flavor profile update closer to my second third here. So stay tuned for that. I'm, as you can see, I'm still into my first third here. Did want to give you a little construction update though. Uh, you know how I was worried about the burn earlier. It has evened itself out magnificently. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful looking ash. Uh, a little flake up at the top, but for the most part, it looks like it's a solid ash. Uh, I'll probably ash it here pretty quickly, but just beautiful looking. Uh, gray, almost nearly white ash. Um, flavor, sorry, flavor-wise, I'm still getting that spice, and it goes, so it's that spice, 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 and then cocoa uh, for, a, for a quick finish there, so. Mm -hmm. Spice, then a little spice starts to fade, then straight into the cocoa. So not getting any of that coffee yet, not getting any of that leather yet. Um, Maybe on the long finish, maybe get a little bit of that leather, but it's just a hint. So, I'm actually going to smoke it in my second third. I'm going to ash this, and uh, just so you know, the cap is still intact perfectly, and just no mouse holes, no tunneling, no canoeing, uh, nothing, no runners. This thing is just beautifully well uh, constructed. The wrapper is just velvet smooth. Uh, this is a really good cigar. Um, and I think here in Colorado, after tax, it's like $13 and change. 
So depending on where you are, if you have less tax, uh, you may be able to get it for like $11.50, uh, $12. Again, depending on where you are and how much your uh, uh, local lounge uh, does their markups. So that's all for now. Again, I'm going to do my second third here and I'll come back with a flavor update. So I'm into my second third here. Uh, as you can see, burn is still extremely even. No mouse holes, no canoeing, no tunneling, no running, none of that other, you know, stuff that you don't like to see on your cigar. Oops. The cap still intact, which is again why I like that deep V, especially on a torpedo. The cap stays, uh, it gives you a nice good shape there and uh, stays intact throughout the smoke. It's not tiring up at all, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. Again, the ash is a beautiful color there. Um, Taste-wise, still getting some of the spice, but the spice is really toned down. Uh, the slower you smoke this thing, the less spice you're going to get. If you smoke it really fast and really hot, you're just going to get punch in the nose with all that uh, with all that spice. But if you let it, let it sit, let it cool down, take your time with the cigar. That's when you're going to get some, of, at least in the second third here, that's when you're going to get some of that leather uh, up front. So you're going to get the spice that's going to uh, mutate into that leather or switch into that leather. And then you're going to get that nice cocoa on the, uh, on the finish. So again, the key to this cigar at this point is just smoke nice and slow, uh, which I usually have a problem with personally. Normally I just, you know, suck down the cigars. Uh, so again, nice and slow. Uh, I would say maybe a puff every minute or two at most. Just enough to keep it lit. Yep, just lots of leather, cocoa on the finish, and uh, just a little bit of spice up front. So I'm actually going to finish my second third here. I'll come back when I'm actually pretty close to the band, uh, right around here, and then uh, I'll give you that final third uh, impression. Again, construction update, flavor profile update, cap, and uh, and then we'll close out the video. But so far, first third is really spicy. Second third seems to be a lot less spice, but more leather and cocoa. Maybe I'll get some coffee in there a little bit, but for now, not, not getting any of that coffee. So stay tuned for the, for the final third here, and we'll close out the video, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the final third. As you can see, uh, burn is still really, really even. No worries there. No tunneling, canoeing, mouse holes, or running throughout the entire uh, cigar, actually. Uh, mm, love the taste of this cigar. Cap is still intact, hasn't tarred up at all. Love that deep V cut. Uh, if you've never actually really taken a look at the band on one of these, this, the band is just beautiful. I'll take a close-up picture for you later. Uh, but uh, just beautiful gold, red, and black band. Let's do a final uh, flavor update. Blow up the cigar just a little bit. Okay, a lot of the spices returned. We're still getting that leather, uh, no cocoa, but it's almost like a wood. Have you ever been like in a really, really, really old uh, like wood building? That kind of uh, wood scent, that's, what, uh, that's kind of what you're getting here on the taste, after, on the finish. So it's spiced and leather than wood. Mm. So. That's gonna wrap it up for the cigar review. Uh, I would actually recommend the cigar. I give the cigar a good A. Uh, it's something you want to sit down and, and relax and enjoy. So it's not one that you would probably smoke uh, on the golf course uh, or running around mowing the yard or working in the garden. Uh, for me, at least anyway, uh, you want to just sit, relax, and smoke a cigar. Maybe have a good uh, coffee after dinner or scotch or whiskey or bourbon. But definitely, uh, if you've never tried the cigar, give, us a, give it a try. And if you have, go ahead and go into the comments and tell me what you thought about it. Um, always love hearing back from my uh, from my viewers so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the little bell notification it should be down here somewhere uh, you'll get notified once i do post a new video 
Uh, we have lots of cool stuff coming up for the Dapper Man, uh, more cigar reviews, a couple whiskey reviews, and soon I'll be making my first batch of beard oils for, uh, for sale. So once that's actually up and running, I'll do a couple videos on that as well. That's all for now. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, all at the Dapper Man US, and of course at thedapperman.org. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.